And it's not Christmas for many without our Marines. They also help make sure kids will enjoy their Christmas. Our Jacqueline Sitt was there to see the joy in the kids' faces this morning. And had thousands of families lined up this morning to receive Christmas gifts for their kids from some of Oklahoma's hometown heroes. And a five-year-old girl. Perfect. Nine and up. The mountains of toys, the boxes piled high with presents, would be every kid's Christmas dream. But one 10-year-old isn't there for the toys. He's on the hunt. Oh, I found a skateboard. Oh, he knows exactly what they want. CJ Rick and Sergeant Robert Blair teamed up to make someone's Christmas a special one. We got five kids, and we try to get them two items apiece. And uh, each section here is divided by age group. And uh, so we just go through and pick. It's pretty good picking up the uh, kids' toys. A magic wand. A tinker belt. The Marines and volunteers with Toys for Tots make magic happen. It's great. It's, it's insane. The thing that, you know, the hardship people go through and how much of a difference the Marines can make just by giving them some toys and again, putting a smile on their face for Christmas. Veterans who serve in Korea yeah, sure, and sure. World War II okay. are now serving thousands right at home. something that we need to do to uh, give these children something and make their Christmas a little happier and we enjoy doing it. We got to meet a couple of toys and some games and some stuff toys. The toys will give many Metro children a Christmas this year and for a Marine that's the biggest present of all. Being able to get out there and see the look on those kids faces even that one one kid one gets happy we're good. At least two to three thousand families went through the Marine Toys for Tots drive earlier today. Ed. Outstanding, Jacqueline. Thank you. The Toys for Tots will be helping about 45,000 families in the Oklahoma City area this holiday.